you only have 10 seconds! I know! Hero, time is running out! I know, Straddles, it won't stop! Hero, we're going to die! We can do this, Straddles, we can make it! Whew, good. I thought I was going to die of hunger. Hello people, I'm the Anime Hero, and I review anime so you can enjoy it. And tonight, or this morning, or whenever you're watching, I should give my answers to this old Anime Hero tag. Pass the syrup. Hey Vaughn, what do you think of these waffles? God, that's spicy! Question number one. Who is your favorite badass anime hero who is a bit of an... A battle using your true power, of course. The power that fought the Lightning Emperor. Do me a favor and pull yourself together before then, hmm? Take care not to let Miroku defeat you. You'll let me go? You'll let me go, you say? You're talking to Bon Mito, pal! I'll take you on anytime, anywhere, get it? You're gonna regret the day you challenged me! Dr. Jackal. Bon Mido from Get Backers. Self-proclaimed as the number one of the duel, Bon possesses great knowledge of various shady businesses. The occult, music, art, literature, and knows a great deal of enemies, not to mention he owes a massive debt. In terms of fighting ability, he possesses super physical prowess such as strength and speed, along with his signature techniques, the snake bite, and the dreadful evil eye. Known as the Jaga, which for one minute could hold you in a complete illusion, although he could do this ability three times a day. What makes him an asshole as well? That's just how he is. Ever since he was born, he never seems to respect anybody but himself. However, what makes him heroic is ironically the Jagon. From the second episode of the series and various other episodes, Bond's abilities has saved the lives of other people by allowing them to experience a dream. For example, in the second episode, dealing with a man who lost his daughter, hires a get-backer to get her back from the Mafia. However, the daughter grew happy with the luxuries of dirty money, since her previous life was a poor one. So in the end, this job became unsuccessful. Tragically, the old man is dying, so as a final wish, he lets her see her daughter for one last time and is able to rest peacefully. Whether it is an illusion or a dream, sometimes people just need to hear the right words to help them wake up and move on with their lives. A long time ago, we were enemies. But now, he's my most precious ally. Whenever I'm in a pinch, he pops up out of nowhere and helps me out. Even if he yells at me while he's doing it. Question number two. Who is your favorite anime hero lady? I haven't seen that much Sailor Moon, but so far, it seems to be Sailor Mars. Yeah, she's a little bitchy, but I think she's pretty cool. I mean, with her fire and all. mention she's a priest and utilizes spell attacks in battle to the point where the Yomas can't move. Bam that shit! Question number three. Who is your favorite dark anti-hero? In the dark, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? There he is, the devil! Devil man! Devil man! Devil man from Devil Man. Originally, Akira Fudo was a timid boy who could never admit his feelings towards his friend Miki. After being possessed by the demon Amon, his pure heart was able to control the demon and gain his powers, then becoming Devil Man. Since then, Akira Fudo has become, well, Devil Manly, to the point where Miki has become his number one fangirl. But what does Devil Man do? He fights demons with the ultimate enemy being Satan, but I won't explain anymore due to heavy spoilers. Question number four. Who is your favorite anime hero sidekick or second leading character? Speedwagon. Robert Edward O. Speedwagon from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What people don't seem to notice is that Speedwagon is not just there for exposition or for hyping things up. He 
leaves a legacy, and even in death he continues to help the Joe Stars with the Speedwagon Foundation. After hitting it big by striking oil in Texas, Speedwagon then founded the Speedwagon Foundation, an organization that deals with the supernatural phenomenon, or in this case, the bizarre phenomenon. The foundation is basically like the MIB or the organization from Hellboy, where they do secret government research to help aid in medicine, science, and movie technology forward, along with helping the Joe Stars with everything. Need an airplane? Go to Speedwagon! Need to hide from the government? Go to Speedwagon! Need information on escaped criminals who have stamps? Go to Speedwagon! Trapped in prison for being framed and you need help to make a jailbreak? Go to Speedwagon! And it is especially true that in Part 6 Stone Ocean, the Joe Stars needed the Speedwagon Foundation. Speedwagon withdraws coolly. Question number 5. Who is your favorite anime hero team? The Z Fighters. Question number 6. Which anime character do you think should have been the main hero of the story? Giver 3 from Giver the Bio Boosted Armor. You know, this is more of a fact than opinion because through the middle of the story and much later on in the manga, Giver 3 has taken the spotlight away. Oh, and Giver 3 is a high school student named Akito Makishima whose goal is to destroy the Kronos organization and rule the world as Zeus. And this ambition is what made him more appealing than Shofu Kamachi. Question number 7. Who is your personal favorite anime hero? Kenshiro. I mean, I could spend an hour talking about... Fine. Question number 8. Who do you think is the best anime hero of all time? Seriously. Wild Tiger from Tiger and Bunny. Yeah, I might change my mind later, but there is one pivotal reason why he's really a good hero. It actually comes from his power because it only works for 5 minutes. Yeah, his power is he can increase his physical abilities by 100 times but at the cost of 5 minutes. I mean, he just doesn't give up whether his powers only work for 5 minutes or when his timer is up. He still does what he can to help. Another reason is the setting of superheroes being marketed as a reality TV show where people are mainly doing it for the glory or as a career choice. Honestly, this dude is filled with personality, quotes, and even interesting upbringing since he's a single father who doesn't have the time to spend with his daughter and is trying his best to be an adult when he's really, well, childish. Us heroes should be fighting real bad guys, you know? Like guys with machine guns! He's more of an average Joel type of superhero, the one who's always in the dumps nor gets that much respect, but manages to help others for the right reasons. If there's even a glimmer of hope, a hero cannot abandon a human life! So well, this was the anime hero tag, and let's try this again. I tagged the following people to participate in this tag, and yes, I'm aware there's been lots of tags lately. But the answers to these questions aren't that difficult. Don't stress yourself over it and just have fun instead. I'm the anime hero and I do tags because you tagged me. Hey!